Hey you guys, in this video we're going to be killing roaches which are by Edgeville. They're just down a uh, roped rift that we'll be heading to in just a second. Now what you want to bring with you is your best armour. I'd recommend adamant plus armour and probably a rune weapon or higher. I'm going to be taking the abyssal whip and some bad owns armour. I'm going to take my dragon boots for the strength bonus and uh, my nezzy helmet. Uh, I'll be taking a dragonfire shield because it's currently the only shield I possess and I'll be taking for my inventory super strength potion uh, dragon dagger poison and some monkfish for the healing um, what we're really looking for at the roaches are the key drops of crimson charms and stackables, they have a lot of stackables um, noted items and runes and we'll also be looking for the key drops of rune drops, they drop a lot of rune square shields and rune skimmers you can probably expect a rune skimmer every 25 to 75 kills so they're, they're alright, they do have some rare occasional drops um, but generally they stack up on the runes and noted um, ores so it's just, this is where you get to them, down this rift here um, I'd recommend bringing an amulet of glory for quick banking um, this world's actually highly populated, that's mainly because there are a lot of botters out now that go after the roaches because of their good profit just attack this one here. I'll show you a few of the drops, uh, just kill a few, and then we'll go for a banking run so you can see how the process works. You can probably hear me text in, I do apologise. Right, so this one, Mithril Ore Noted. That's what I mean by the Noted Ores. Bloody Botters. Uh, if you find an unpopulated world with a lack of bosses there, you can probably constantly be attacking one. So the experience is quite good as well. You're probably looking at 30k experience in the key attack, strength, or defense, and uh, 10 to 15k in hit points. Right, we get. Oh, there's a lot of watermelon seeds dropped here as well, so you get quite a good profit from them. I believe they're still at about 3k. Again, Crimson Charms still being a key drop of what we're after here. Yes. They're quite easy to kill, low defense. Um, I'll just show you though, if you do run away, they will attack you with range. So if you have low range defense, uh, here's the range attack. Yeah, so if you do have low range defense, then they can hit quite high. You saw the range hit there. Um, so if you're low on health, these are not monsters that you can just run away from because you'll probably find that you'll tend to die. So if you're running low on health, either teleport, um, using your house teleport, or heal. You know, don't run. Just kill a few more, we'll do the banking run, and uh, you can go and do it for yourself. Oh, there's also a multi-combat area, so if the bots are pathetic, then <laughs> you can take them out. Why? Uh, my language, what's going on? That's why. McAfee, bloody antivirus programs. Hop in lag every so often. Cool, that's how you uh, muck up a bot. <laughs> um, I've recorded all the drops here before, and I can say in an hour I did make 225k. Um, experience, unfortunately I didn't record, but that's just combat experience as of standard attacking other monsters. Um, these are quite weak against rain, um, magic attacks, I do believe, so give it a shot. I believe it's slash um, certain magic attacks. So you can investigate on that yourself, I'll put it in the description below, I'll have a quick look now. If you have any comments, please leave them below so we can all uh, learn from them. If you have any tips or advice, again, please post them below. Please comment, rate and subscribe, and uh, look forward to the next video.